Good morning, guys. It is currently 5.40, 5.30 a.m. You know that TikTok that's like, I'm never relaxed or whatever? What is it? That's me. I'm on my way to a 6 a.m. workout class, and I haven't been to the studio, so I have to get there extra early. It's literally like three minutes from my house, but I need to make sure there's parking, you know? So I think I'm taking this I'm a responsible adult thing a little bit too far. My friend and I wanted to go, and my friends here, um, you know, they work like normal hours. So here we are on our way to core power. I'm excited. Oh. Guys, look at this. I'm a city gal. Look at me go. Today is a I'm getting things done day. I keep putting everything off. I woke up this morning, all I wanted to do is go back to bed and read. If I get all my stuff done today, um, that's my reward. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm yawning. I either have like a lot of energy or it's shot. We're going to the Victory Park location. Do you guys live in Dallas and do you guys go to Core Power? If so, what are your favorite classes? Where do I even go? Just finished the workout, guys. I feel incredible. I remember why I used to do this. I think Taryn and I are going to start doing this more often. I keep getting questions about how to be a morning person, and honestly, I've been off my like early morning routine. Like it used to be, I used to be like really structured. So if I wake up, let's say I wanna wake up at six, and I'm gonna go work out at like 7.30. And in that six to 7.30 time block, my plan is to like read and you know, have my coffee and whatever. I've come to terms with the fact that every single time, I'm just going to hit snooze until my workout class. So I've realized that if I really wanna be an early morning riser again, I have to schedule really early morning workouts because the only thing that will get me up is if I have a scheduled workout class, especially with a friend. So for me currently, that's what I'm doing. Wow. I used to wake up so early and work out before the it was light outside, I was so productive and I was happy. And I keep talking about being in this weird rut funk that I feel like I get in every single summer. And I think it's because in the summer I lack more structure, I let myself loose a little bit more. And that's just really not good for me, I'm not that chill. Like in the end of workout classes where it's like the stretches and stuff, like that's my least favorite part because I just like sit there and I'm like, what am I supposed to do, you know? Oh my God, also she made us do burpees at 6 a.m. and like that was just disrespectful. Like I actually was like, I couldn't believe my eyes and my ears when I heard that, like it was just too much for me. Other than that though, I really did like the class. I'm still looking for a workout teacher in Dallas that um, plays like the baby and Jack Harlow, but like I really did like the class. I'm listening to it at my live podcast. I mean, wow. We'll see how long this lasts. Guys, Woo! I have been putting everything off this week. Like my laundry over there, I've had about five loads that I've been doing throughout the week. Three of the loads have been sitting downstairs ready for me to like fold for about mm, three days. I feel disgusting, so I'm gonna do the dishes and take the trash out, which I've also been putting off. I just have not been a real adult. I did, however, carry my laundry basket up the first flight of stairs, which is truly half the battle. Here we go, everyone. You might be like, Kinsey, these are not adult things. I know, we're not getting to that point yet, but no one else can do this for me. Yep. Oh, oh, that was disgusting. For the record, I don't normally put things off like this that are just basic chores. Um, I've just been incredibly irresponsible recently. Does anyone else's dog hate me to do that? Coco like can't stand it. I'm surprised she bark. I just filled an entire water jug because responsible adults drink water. Okay. I'm watching Token CEO. I am obsessed with Erica. I love that podcast. So I'm gonna finish that. I'm gonna put some laundry away and then I'm gonna shower and self tan because I have not done that all week. By the way, this set is Year of Ours. I'm completely obsessed with it. It's like, I'm, you know, you know me and Year of Ours, guys. I'm wearing my full disclosure shorts, daily drills, top, both of my friends' brands. I'm trying to like let my trying to let my self tan um, dry. 
I just have this jacket on. Maybe I'll throw some hoops on. It's now 9 a.m. I feel so accomplished. I'm gonna drop the dogs off at 11 to take them to the groomers and then that's when I'm gonna run my errands So right now I'm gonna make some calls to the bank and just other adult things that like normally give me anxiety guys I have a good life hack for you. Let's bring life. Actually. Let's not bring life back it's back I really didn't like that time of YouTube comment below what your favorite phase of YouTube has been And it's more specifically if you watched me for years what your favorite like phase of my life has been So I feel like we all put off like making appointments calling you the bank calling whoever like just you know adult things that are like so boring and not fun if you make one call then all of a sudden you're just on a roll and you keep going and keep going and like there's no feeling of accomplishment like it I have barely gone on my rooftop at all all summer and it's actually like not that hot out right now I can't believe it I should be up there more but I just like don't I don't know I need to go I need to like figure that out maybe I'll have a friend over tonight who knows adults do that Update on my narwhal by the way. It's my robot vacuum mop that self cleans um, I did a deal with them forever ago And it's like actually probably my favorite deal I've ever done because this thing is incredible I really really want one for upstairs But it vacuums and it mops my floors like every day because I'm a little bit excessive about it My floors look like someone just cleaned them like professionally every single day. So We're gonna get that together. I made some beautiful breakfast My vacuum is vacuuming Tea with publicity is on. I have been putting off setting up this new account for eight months. It's embarrassing. I just did it. I love being an adult now. I'll hate it by tomorrow. But I love it now. I'm feeling so organized. I like really have my life together. It's a really good thing. Wow. I mean, guys, this is something else. I know I'm probably getting a lot of comments of like you're just doing basic human things. Yeah, I understand that. I'm actually extremely responsible and driven when it comes to my career, but I'm a very big picture person. So small little tasks like give me anxiety and I just don't want to do them. So that's the issue. Hey, it's done. This has gone so far to the point where I just ordered a budget planner to be sent to my house. Adulting. Update, um, I decided I'm canceling that order and I'm just gonna do Mint online because it's gonna actually be something I keep up with. Um, I just really am loving getting my life together. Oh, wow, I have an appointment and they asked me to call them to finalize and normally I would just put that off, but I'm working out at 6 a.m. every morning. That's actually like the solution to my problems. Okay, there's like one, oh. I have a question about a membership at Core Power. I'm gonna call him. I feel like I'm gonna get so much hate on this video and some people are gonna be like, you're stupid. But like at the same time, like get off your high horses. Also, I feel like a lot of us can relate to this. Here's a before of the pups. Coco has looked better. She's so sweet. I love them. Um, but they really need a bath. First to UPS, feeling good. Thank you, have a good day. Free drink. Today is my lucky day. Okay, I'm listening to Call Her Daddy. I actually really, really love and respect Alex Cooper, but she has Chelsea Handler on, and Chelsea Handler is one of my favorite people ever. She reminds me so much of my aunt, so she's like a comfort listen to me, but I am obsessed. I mean, like, what, what a great collaboration. Now we're here at FedEx. Cheers, everyone. I'm feeling like an adult. Guys, I was starving for lunch at 11. Um, it's noon now. I just got a salad from the new like salad drive through on Ross. I think they had one on Plano because I had seen it on TikTok before. I got a little Thai salad. <laughs> um, this is really good and I'm waiting for everyone on TikTok to tell me it's really bad for me because the salad is $5.74 with protein. Like that's so cheap. I feel like I'm at like Health Nut LA, you know? Anyways, I mean, this is very exciting news. Salad and go. Okay, we've got the pups. You look so old when you get a blowout. Handsome man. Oh my gosh, I love the bandana. You are so fashionable. Oh my God. Coco doesn't care to show you right now. I'm on such a roll. I'm about to call the eye doctor. <laughs> now, if you guys know me, you know that I've needed a new prescription for about two years. This is what I mean when I say I'm like a big picture sort of guy, like the small things. Calling to make an eye doctor appointment, it's like not top of mind. Out of laziness, but also. This has to be some sort of joke. I'll try one more time. It's not meant to be. 
I tried. Just made a second lunch. I'm on my like, probably 15th token CEO episode today. I'm sitting on my closet floor. I'm about to record a new ad read. I showered, I washed my hair. I did a whole like hair mask thing. Cause adults do that. Um, I'm hoping that my friend Amanda wants to walk and like go do something fun. I'm thinking like a nice happy hour. I think that sounds fun. It's only four. Um, I need to record something really quick, which I'm doing at it. Whatever, long story short. Since it's my producer for this week's episode, which is actually with Jessa Hastings. I'm really, really excited about it. She is a really good friend of mine. I'm like obsessed with her. But we did an entire podcast episode on like 20s advice. She's someone that I really go to for advice right now when I'm feeling all over the place. Also, she wrote one of my favorite books, Magnolia Park. So I'm going to Lila's with a friend. I'm wearing this dress from White Fox. It's really thin. It's like 90 degrees outside right now. I have some Nike blazers. My hair is still drying currently, but I have this hair clip because I feel like this is like a really cute look, you know? This is the lip gloss. The applicator is beautiful. It's like super hot pinks. Oh my god, wait, I have the perfect sunglasses. I just thought about this. Guys, I literally think I'm Barbie today. Wait, they're in here. Oh my god, no. I got these from Amazon. Oh, they're perfect. I mean, I mean, I don't love them on me, but they're still fun, you know? This is actually me today. home honestly a really good night it is 9 20 i'm about to hop on an instagram live i am crazy today hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog subscribe if you guys made it this far comment 9 21 love you guys and i'll see you soon bye and that was such a big deal for me when well i guess i knew over the last however many years because it was the only story i'd ever really thought of that my brain didn't let rest 